Shadow Rising takes place in a really large world, so the actual story that sort of powers the, the product itself is just ridiculously large, and, uh, and some of the things that will come out in subsequent brand extensions are a little bit hush-hush, but essentially you've got one character who's a little bit misunderstood, that doesn't have his family, and he goes through different trials and tribulations as he sort of understands his, his magical, mystical powers uh, and this very harsh world that he's living in. Right, so I was the main producer for Shadow Rising. Uh, well, actually, I was more of a co-producer. Uh, Stephen Linton was the other producer. I'm the studio head. So, one of my key tasks was to really push the artistic side of the product. Uh, our vision for Shadow Rising was that we could make a flash game that was particularly pretty. Uh, I'm a programmer originally, before I started doing all this other stuff. Um, so, games that I can't pronounce that come from Japan. General hack and slash games. We kind of had a situation where someone needed to do story and, and, and Melvin had, had come up with the architecture of the world and, and, and the characters that would be in it and stuff. I came on to help deliver a kind of plot and, and create a mythology behind the game and a way that we could use the world to create other games. Okay, so I don't necessarily come up with the ideas. Um, my job really is to hone in on those that do have a vision and really try and build a team around that vision and then produce what that vision is. The universe for Shadow Rising covers about 500 years worth. I, I can take it pretty much from like the 1400s to 1500s where it's set and I can take it right into the present day and I know exactly how I want all that to work. Well, the game was supposed to take three weeks. It took slightly longer than three weeks. Um, but that's not my fault. I think we spent about six months on what we would term the core build. At least four of those months were pretty heavy going. But uh, some guys were on it for as little as two weeks. Other guys were, are still tinkering around on it now. Uh, I'm a programmer slash technical artist. What inspired the art? <laughs> um, I think it was mainly uh, inspired by um, teen anime style that most people are watching these days. <laughs> Less about looking at other games and developing the story than trying to create a world around what everybody wanted and what was already in the game since the story was largely written after the game had already been done, which makes life slightly interesting. That's all good. Well, okay, the story behind Shadow Rising is that there are two main protagonists. You've got Kai, who's our hero that you play in this version of the game, um, and he's like your, um, he's kind of a warrior, a bit of a loner, uh, but like a couple of people in the office. Uh, and he's pretty tough and he's, he's um, been sent to protect this village. Um, and the game kind of starts off and his, his girlfriend's kind of arrived out of nowhere, although you don't really realise this, but his girlfriend's arrived and he proposes to her and, and then she kind of gets stolen by demons. So he's on this big adventure to rescue his, his girlfriend from those demons. I don't want to get too much away else, but it's an interesting conclusion to the game, which will lead into Shadow Rising 2.